Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, just another little experiment playing in my art room. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button and the subscription button. It's absolutely free and I am very grateful if you do so. This particular one that I'm going to do, I was going over a canvas that I didn't like, so it was fully dry and I'm just going over it. This was some leftover navy that I made. I made this navy out of my Montmartre paint. Uh, this one was with Floetrol. I don't normally use Floetrol unless I'm doing sort of trying to create like a bloom type things or lots of lacing. Um, because I use my glue um, and water pouring medium but I thought I'd just try it on this canvas and I'm sure because it's um, a used canvas it'll probably turn out gorgeous and I don't like ever selling you canvases that I've poured over even though some so I'm told some very famous artists uh, painted several times over one uh, piece of art so there you go I'm going to try it <laughs> so that was with that's the navy I made so that was with phalo blue just a blob of black so say a teaspoon and then a blob of uh, dark green like I think it was moss green or sap green I used in that and it makes a really nice navy and I actually like the navy far better than black just black black so I'm going to use the Montmartre pouring paints as, um, yeah, I'm going to use them. And I'm going to do some swiping with the Montmartre pouring paints just straight out of the bottle. So we're going to see what we get. I've got this, there's like this glitter that I've obviously got somewhere and it's, it's like all the little colours are dropping on there, but you know, I quite like it, so I'm not going to stress over it. Um, it doesn't matter. It's because, ugh, as you know, once you've worked with glitter, it's like very difficult to um, not find glitter everywhere. So, I think I need a whole, whole new art room that call it my glitter room my bling room because so I don't get the two mixed up but then again I found glitter in my bedroom and in my underwear so how that happened I have no idea whatsoever um, and the other thing was I had visitors over yesterday afternoon who came in here looked at my artwork seen the puppies and we were sitting on the back veranda having some cheese and bickies and then I noticed on my friend's forehead and on her cheek glitter <laughs> oh I thought that was so funny because uh, I didn't tell her because I thought she'll go home and look in the mirror thought she's been blinged at Jill's place okay just very little paint so I used the Montmartre bronze I used the glorious glorious gold and this was the silver, but I had added a bit of, with Floetrol, just a tiny bit because I was cleaning out the bottle and I thought, I'll see what I get with it. Now, over that slightly, I'm going to use the Boom Gel paint that has a little of this Boom Booster in that I've been getting, look, you know, un unbelievable results. So I just want to see if it makes any difference to this. If I don't quite like how this is coming out, I will do something else with it. So, I want something smallish to swipe it with. Let's play with some odd bits. So, I'll just try with some pieces of the soft plastic file divider that I've just cut up. I have some bits of card. Maybe I'll need to even cut those a bit thinner, but I'll just try don't want to do very big swipes I want to do kind of feathery kind of things oh that is so sheeny shiny maybe I'll do a bigger one here 
I don't know if you can see this, but that is, oh, look at, oh, oh my goodness, look at this. Holy dooly. Wow, okay, okay, loving it, loving it. Oh, you have to try this. There was me only wanting to do little ones, but now I've got such, oh. It just, I don't know if you can see this, but it is sheeny, shiny, gorgeous. Like the, just those paints together. Okay, I'm gonna go over the tiny, weeny little ones. I'm gonna put some bigger ones in there. Probably nice to have a little bit of, not too much. Okay, I'll turn that round, wow. That looks super duper. Really happy with that. Actually, I might swipe like that's probably given me a better angle to do both sides. You think of these things afterwards, but that's all, all in part of it, I suppose. Kind of a reflection swipe. Oh, I'll have to, um, not sure if, I was just thinking, that was actually just, every time I do a, these kind of swipes, I think of Kathleen Osmore of Cos Creations because she does some amazing swipes. Um, she gets obviously a lot different paints than I get here in Australia because she's in the US, but I just wondered if she'd swiped in these ones before. Wow. I'll just noodle away like Kathleen does, but I, call, I think that in Australia they call it doodling when you just fiddling about. <laughs> but that, just put in that little bit of boom with the boom gel stain and the boom booster. Wow, so you can use it with other paints and it boom paints with the Montmartre. They come out deliciosa. Deliciosa. Wowzers, trousers. So what do you think of that? It's very simple and I think I could do some bits and bobs through the centre. Maybe some little, um, I wonder if some just little, little, little droplets or why this is just the bamboo skewer oh, there's a terrible smell in here and I think it's that puppy dog my standard poodle puppy I think he's got gas <laughs> and it stinks it's good job we haven't got smell cam poo poo pee doo Oh, I'm not sure if you've seen this. I'm going to bring my phone down and record because this is so sheeny shiny. It's it's the um, the gold and that because these are all um, metallics and this particular gold and that bronze just gorgeous. You don't have to use much of them. That purple, it is beautiful. I like it. So yes, I am doodling, doodling, doodling. All righty, okay you people. So I will give this a go on a bigger canvas now because I didn't, you know, know how it would perform, but I'm very, very happy with that. Need to just put a bit more of the, ah, the navy. I will finish off my edges, I will take some photos when it's dry and you let me know what you think. I mean it's just a, you know, that would look really effective on a really big long canvas. It is so um, shimmery, shimmery, shimmery. I'll just turn the overhead lights off and see if you can see the shine. I don't know if the lights are reflecting back up to you or whether that makes any difference. 
that make any different? Oh, that's a beauty. That's gorgeous. I love it. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks so much for joining me again. Until next time, bye for now. Um, if I haven't put a puppy video on at the beginning, I will put some puppy cam on at the end of our puppies. Um, thanks so much. Until next time, bye for now. Well, here we are on day 10 and these babies are just growing into the chubbiest, strongest little, oh, just delightful little babies. Look at these. Look at your chubby face, your chubby face. Hopefully they'll open their eyes by the end of the week. You can see some of them kind of looking, you know, you see a little tiny slit as though some of their eyes slightly getting there. But as you can see, they can really get around the <laughs> box pretty well. Oh, what's going on here? She's not getting her feet in. She's going to... Oh, oh, oh. She... Tell him, Mama, I'm not getting my dinner here. What's going on? Oh. There we go. Over that way, baby. Over this way, this little gorgeous little girl. And there we go. Here we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. There we go. Sleeping with the teddy bear. So I'll put a teddy bear or two in there just so they. This one going like the clappers. What colour is this one? That's got a beigey collar. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So probably another week and they will completely look different again <laughs> obviously then their eyes will be open their ears will be standing up a bit more but they're gorgeous little faces they're getting more fluffier now their coats are really quite thick i've got hairs in my mouth <laughs> occupational therapy uh, therapy <sighs> occupational hazard should i say you're in with puppies i've just change their bed in a couple of times a day and all's good with the world so until next time people day 10 has just ended so and all is good